So I have this list here. Only one thing has been checked off so far. But the day is still young. And so is this uh, retirement practice that I'm on for the next three weeks. Today's the beginning of day four. So I have a decision to make right now. A couple things on my list that you saw earlier. One is to put new headlights in, in uh, red right there. The second thing is change oil in the white truck. Red, king. White truck, red truck. Which to do? Hmm. Hey, how about both? I gotta run this up to operating temperature anyway, so I'll pull it out, get it running up to operating temperature, pull that in, change out the headlights, put it back out there, bring this in and change the oil. Sounds like a plan. Just as I get ready to videotape this process, my neighbor decides that he needs to get the skill saw out and use it. Wonderful. Well, let's see if we can try this again. Like I was going to say, left to my own devices, I wouldn't have changed these headlights. But my son-in-law did some work for a guy and got some new headlight assemblies. Well, they don't fit his 98 Ranger, but they do fit rather nicely on a 2003. Well, mine are not in that bad of shape. There's just a little bit of pitting and some cloudiness going on there. But the main thing with this headlight, the passenger side headlight, is the backstop is broken on it. So hopefully we can remedy that situation. Now in this particular application, Ford has a pretty well engineered uh, setup on this headlight assembly. You remove this top cover with these two screws. And then over in here you have these uh, sliders that pull up one here and one here and when you pull them up the whole assembly will come out the front and that's to uh, make it easy to replace the bolts which you can't see down there hardly and there's definitely no room to get your hand down in there and the bolt too so they set it up that way so you pull the assembly out the front to replace the bolts well that makes replacing the assembly that much easier so that's what we're going to do So here's the old one. This is the new one. As you can see, the little ears on the backstop are broken off on the uh, my original one. And this one has the ears. So when we install this one, it'll stay in place and not be moving around. Awesome. Two new headlights. It's obviously that these are used, but they're very lightly used. They're very clear. And no more, we got a solid headlight over here now. That's good. Fog lamps are working. Awesome. Time for the oil change on King. First off, we got to glove up. Well, we got the oil drain in there. Well, we got a new filter at the ready. We're going to crawl up under there and swap them out. Well, there's the old filter. We got it drained, got it broke loose and draining. Another neat piece of Ford engineering that they did, where that oil filter drains down, there is a gutter to catch that oil and run it down over top of the front axle. You can see where it runs out right there. Now that's very slick. The only downside of that is if you take it to a quick change oil place, they tend not to get that oil off of that gutter. And when they don't, that wet oil just lays there 
collects dirt, becomes sludgy over time, plus the excess oil just runs back down the uh, drivetrain and makes a big mess. As you can see, we got a nice clean dry drivetrain. Well, our mating surfaces are clean. Or the new filter is going to go up in there. Let's see if I can point that out to you right there. See the threads right there? That's the uh, boss where the oil filter screws on to. I like to clean the surface there. The gutter's been cleaned out. Now we're ready for the new filter. And there we go. New filter, clean undercarriage. Mmm, tasty engine nectar. So now we're letting our used oil drain into our, our uh, five gallon used oil container. And then we take that to the recycling center and dispose of it properly. Well, we're kind of back where we started. Red truck's got new headlights. White truck's got uh, fresh oil change and did a fresh water wash down on it too since it had been sitting in the garage for a while and was pretty dusty. So we rinsed it off a little bit. That's two, th two items on the list that can be marked off. So here's our list. And we did the Ranger headlights. Done. And the King Ranger oil change. Done. I'm supposed to be on vacation. <laughs>